Yeah. We actually have a question related to that. Should we move into that one? Okay. Uh, this guy wrote a long one. Shit. Uh huh. This is a long one. This is the guy who included pictures, by the way. Oh. Those in a bit if you want to. Okay. He says, Hi, Nim and Van. Van, I am 20 in April and I have never had a relationship, not even my first kiss. It's gotten to the point where I'm pretending I'm waiting for the one because the reality that no one likes me is embarrassing. I have talked to many women online, but it's never ended well. For example, a girl I was going to meet up with told me, My ex wished me a happy birthday, so I'm trying again with it. When I was younger and had friends, I'd ask them why no one likes me and the typical response was you're still young it's funny looking back because i noticed a curve in that response from that to oh i'm sorry to hear that i have tons of stories about women being you know like one time a girl talked with me at a bar this had never happened before so i was amazed that a stranger female talked to me basically it ended up with me buying her a drink and then she walked away soon after not really sure if it was my fault or if she just wanted a free drink because she asked me to buy her one. Sorry for rambling on. I've talked about this with so many people, but nothing's changed. I often have women I'm talking to, but they usually stop messaging back. Like right now, I have three women I'm talking to who seem to have all stopped responding. So for Nim, I have this question. How do you suggest I fix this problem without saying the typical stuff like just talk to women? Oh, and I go to the gym six out of seven days per week with push-pull legs routine and shower and all that. For Van, can you make me gay? There's this guy that has tried to have sex me with me, but I refused. Life would be a lot easier if I was gay. Oh, and if Ra Van wants to rate my pee, -pee I'd be right happy to. And then um, um, he added that he's five foot four. And then here's on my stream right now is the picture that he submitted. So he's looking juicy. What is that? Uh, it's a pretty dark uh, photo. Yeah, you can't there's really. One... Okay, hold on. There's one more. Uh, that's less artistic. Oops. Where did it go? It's over here. Okay. How do I? Uh, now I feel like a boomer. Open. Okay, here it is. <laughs> is that train wrecks? No, I don't think so, guys. So he's all about muscle, about hmm. how you say he's 20 or 24. He's 20 years old. He's five foot four. Okay. That's a, okay. I, I, I can see, I can see, I can see, I know where he's coming from. I know his type. Hmm. Do you know what to tell him? I'll let you have a stab at it first, um, Nim. Oh, okay. Um, wow. I have to think about this. Wait, did you say that you know what to tell him, but you you want me to go first, or you didn't know what to tell him? I do know what to tell him. I know, okay, I okay. know, I know that type. <laughs> okay, um, this one might be tougher for me. Oh, that sounded. I don't mean it that way. So, um, but because my because my viewers don't know, um, my viewers don't didn't see the photo. It's like the guy is buff. The guy is all about working out in the gym. Got huge arms. Um, but he's 5'4". Can you tell what ethnicity he is? I can't tell. Uh, looked Caucasian to me. Okay. But I'm not sure. Well, I mean, okay, so, well, my angle would be what you just said, right? You just talked about how there's plenty of successful and attractive and sought after people of that height for starters. So we can establish that height is not the problem, right? Obviously, there are girls out there um, who are, might not be interested in a guy who's 5'4", but that's fine. There are girls out there who might not be interested in Caucasian men, and yet you don't see all the Caucasian men crying about that. So you just have to recognize that there are still people out there who are into you. You're not undateable. Very, very few people, if any, on our earth are. So it's just about, you know, finding the one. And um, the one thing that isn't going to help you find anyone is giving up. Um, so you can... Yeah, I guess apart from that, it's hard to know. It, he talked about online dating and how they stop responding. You might need to move faster. From the experience I have on Tinder, for example, is that if you don't move fast enough, if you don't set up a date, usually it ends up kind of dying out. I've, just a few messages. And then you shouldn't talk about, you know, um, uh, everything. You don't need to share your whole life story over Tinder or over messages because you can do that over a dinner instead, for example. 
so just set something up. That's what I can say about that part. Um, other than that, specifically why, you know, things haven't been working out, uh, I find it hard without knowing. Maybe he's doing something terribly wrong. Maybe he's actually an asshole. We don't know. But, yeah. How's that? How did I do? I would give you a C plus, Nim. <laughs> you know? Okay. Because this is how I, if, if I was Nim, this is how I would say it first, all right? I would say, um, since I'm a representative of Sexy Seducer, I might suggest that you play Sexy Seducer 3 because I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Super Seducer. Oh, Super Seducer. the air, guys. Go check it out. Super Seducer. God damn it, Nib. I'm doing the job for you. I want a cut. Mm -hmm. Give me... I need a percentage. Um, and I would tell you how to talk to girls. And basically, um, from my half an hour playing Super... Is it Super or Sexy? It's Super Seducer. Super. From my half an hour that I was playing Super Seducer and thrashing it. Mm -hmm. And what I realized that I got from it is that, um, uh, what I, okay, this is what I'm thinking, all right? So it might not be true, but he's 5'4", and he's working out a lot, all right? All right. And I think he has a lot to prove to the world, and he's working too hard at it. Um, you know, trying to be like, try to overcompensate um, with uh, our physical appearance by just, yeah, I'm this way, I'm that way, you know, talking too big, talking big. And what I get from, the, because, you know, guys from the gyms do that. They work out and they're like, you know, it's all about overcompensating. Um, Napoleon syndrome, <laughs> so Ram the, the whatever. Mm. Um, You're saying he's working out too much. Well, what I'm saying is selling himself too much. And in Super Seducer, it's all about, you tell me about, you know, hey, tell me about your, your hobbies. Tell me about, you have to listen. Uh, that's what I got from um, the game is uh, be a good listener. Be, take interest. I thought you hated that game. <laughs> I hate it because it's, it's just too much talking, but then I realized that's what you people do. You know, you people talk more than you guys fuck. Okay, that's not, that's not what I'm saying. But when, you, when you say you people, you're talking about straight people? Is that what you mean? Your hetero hijinks. <laughs> the hetero hijink is, you know, you guys spend more time talking than you, the actual fucking. Um, and for us gay, it's the opposite. You know, we just fuck. We don't talk. Talk uh, first, talk later. Barely talk later. Sometimes we don't even talk. Okay. Sometimes we just like, uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, okay, we're done. Uh, so that seems very convenient. It, that's right. Um, he did ask if there's a way, you know, you could make him gay. Uh, you can't just. <laughs> I, when when you say when people say that, it just it's just being funny. I mean, you have to like... Well, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, have you ever had any experience of someone who's like, you know, they weren't 100% against the idea and then they actually tried it and they loved it? Has that been a thing? Yeah, it's, it's called uh, tendency. <laughs> you, you know, some right. people have certain amount of that. You know, like some people have... When you're in a gym with... You're like a straight dude and you're in a gym and in the locker room... And there's a certain amount of percentage of tendency. Some guy had zero. It's like, I have no interest in the balls. No. Yeah. Okay. And then some guy is like, oh, if that's swinging in front of me, you know, I'll take, I'll take a sniff right. at it. I'll take a sniff at it. You know, it just depends on, it's, diff it's different with everybody. There's a scale. It's called, yeah. uh, what's that scale? Um, like a spectrum? Yeah. Um, what's that? There was a sex um, doctor. Is it Freud? A, f a scale? Um, one of those. But it's different for everybody. So people are saying something called the Kinsey scale? Kinsey! Kinsey scale! Okay, interesting. Yes, that's the Kinsey scale. 
That's what I was thinking that, and I couldn't think about it. Um, uh, everybody has that, you know, from, I think it's from zero to seven. I don't remember what it is, but, and then you find out what number you fit into that scale and you go, okay, that makes sense. You know, how that, do you find that out? <laughs> I forgot like zero. What's the scale from zero to what? Um, like <laughs> what? Like, it's like from super straight to super gay. Um, Zero to six, something like that. And, and, and then it's zero to super straight or zero to super gay. <laughs> well, we, it's one of those. Google it, people. But, um, Interesting. Okay. I'm like, okay, I'm like uh, zero straight. Okay. And then six, maybe, I don't know. Hey, why did, so where would you be? Like if it's zero to six, like six is super gay. Yeah. And straight is zero. Like I'm more like, like halfway towards the gay a little bit. <laughs> well, like, 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 three like a three and a half of four towards the gay. Okay. Yeah. Because like if there's a vagina in front of me, I'm not going to freak out. You know, I'm not going to be like screaming like most people. Um, Fair enough. Yeah. I'm like, okay, it's there. Um, but uh, but for him, I, I say uh, sometimes you just got to stop selling yourself, take back a couple of notch and just listen to people. And here's another important too. I got people who are like bitching about, oh, I have trouble finding so and so. I have, uh, first of all, you got to know where you are in the one to 10 spectrum. Are you a six or a seven or a 10? You know, 10 would be like super hot, super model. He needs to know his uh, his looks, is what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, and would you say maybe he's maybe he's um, going for people who are out of his out of the league? league? Yes, a lot of people do that, and they co they complain. Everybody have uh, what I call um, beer beer budget and champagne taste. Uh, ah, yes. <laughs> so yeah. you know, I've heard this has been become more of a problem with internet. It's a twofold problem. One of them is that it's so easy to just left swipe and go for the next one, you know, back in the day. But way back in the day, you grew up in like a village or whatever, and you had to select a few females. You had to pick one uh, or, or males. And then the other thing is, of course, that uh, the, you were exposed to so many, you know, perfect people on Instagram, etc., that it's hard not to raise your standard because you're exposed to your perception of how many beautiful people are out there is greatly skewed because of the internet. Well, then, you know, um, the internet is not you real. Like you disagree. <laughs> the internet is not, you, I, I agree, but the internet is not, is not real. Oh no, I don't think I can hear you again. Oh shit. Maybe you should do the thing again. Okay, hold on. Can you hear me now? Hello? Um, hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Yep. yep. Good. All right. Welcome back. Thank you. So I think with the Discord, I have to pretty much uh, refresh it all the time, once in a while. But stay... Did you uh, but catch everything I said? Yeah. Yeah, I do. It's just people need to stay in their lane and stop having this high expectation um, mm. and here for me it's like when I'm okay I used to live in San Francisco you know the big mm. city or West Hollywood where you know you go on Grindr or Twinder and you look at it it's all like torso like they're all like something from a fitness magazine but mm. here in um, where I live <laughs> in the woods if you go on there and it's just all like, Yeehaw. it's all like, you know, we're ready. We're, we're ready. <laughs> it's all what? that. Yeah, it's all this. Oh. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> guess what? I go, you adapt to that. And once you adapt to that, it's like, hey, it's great. I'm, I'm busy all the time now. You know, it's like, 
Someone actually had a question about that, or someone asked, wanted to know why you decided to move out from the city and when you moved. Um, I, I was I was never a city person. I when I used to live in the city, I don't I really don't. I was social dis, 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 distancing. Distance, yeah. Before it was hip, I was doing it ten years. You know, I have like the whole city, the whole you know, all the socializing. I just stay yeah. home. I just yeah. stay home and work in my garden. So it's like same. It's like why the fuck oh, am I? Yeah, why the fuck am I paying so much? You know, mortgage and tax, where I'm not. I'm not taking advantage of the city. So I just move here uh, and don't have to pay so much, and I and I don't have to work. So um, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah, now you're getting less exposed to the virus. Hello, Perfect. yeah. But San uh, Francisco, I've actually been to San Francisco and I thought it was great. Well, not now. If you go now, it's like a toilet. It's just, it's a home, uh, homeless in camp, pain, uh, uh, camp everywhere. Homeless camp? Oh. Yeah, everywhere. Now it might get even worse, huh? From the, the bad uh, effects from the economy hit, from the corona stuff. Yeah. 